Hey everyone, welcome to part 5 of our infinite mummy of Gozagaron, mummy wizard. In the last episode we finished off the lair of beasts, and in this one we'll probably do a little bit more dungeon before we head into the orcish mines. And the orcish mines is great for a Gozag follower because you're going to be raking it in with gold. And speaking of raking it in, if you look in the top right hand corner, this character's got 3641 gold. That's a lot, and I'm not really sure what to do with it, if we should be calling merchants, and I know it is still early in the game. Now I ain't saying he's a moosigger, but we ain't messing with no broke, uh, I don't think I'm allowed to continue with that one, uh, use your imagination. Uh, anyway, at this point in the game I would usually have called a merchant, but I'm not really sure what we should be funding, if anything. So I think it might be better just to wait, see what the shop situation is in the Orcish Mines, and then we can assess from there. We're currently training Hexes and Summonings for Summon Mana Viper. It's at 9% to fail right now, and it's also coincidentally lowering our failure rate on the Silent Spell, which is kind of just like a bonus. I accidentally trained too much air magic in the early game, but now we're reaping the rewards for the free Silence casts. Anyway. Uh, and after we get these two castables, so we're bringing each of those to seven, we might start looking towards the AoE ice spells that are in our memorization list. So we're talking Bolt of Cold, Freezing Cloud, Ozakubo's Regeneration, or Refrigeration. <laughs> Ozakubo's Regeneration, thinking. Uh, but no, I think probably of the two, I'd rather just go for Freezing Cloud. But I don't know, we can think about that in the future. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, I want to give a shout out to Emil. So Emil noticed that I skipped a magical staff earlier in the game, a long time ago. So we'll go check that out. If that's wizardry or something, that would be extremely useful. Staff of poison. All right, that doesn't help us at all. Uh, you primarily use that to help you uh, to get our poison if you didn't already have it but uh, we have infinite our poison already and I still wonder where Erica went we've never seen her again uh, he's a centaur warrior really scary um, but it didn't notice us so I could just go back up or I could also go for the greedy mephitic cloud play which I think I'll do uh, appears confused good and we'll make a couple of ice base. Oh there's a Yakto. Oh that's scary. Um, Alright, we're good. Okay, with two ice beasts between us, I don't know, this is kind of scary. I'm gonna shoot a Mephitic. We didn't get it. Interesting. I noticed that the Yaktor is pulling out the crossbow and putting it away. It's pulling it out because it wants to shoot us, but then I guess because it's in melee with the Ice Beast, it needs to do melee attacks. Uh, and another one. Okay, we gotta go up. Scary, scary, scary. I think we should just pick a new stair. Oh, I just remembered. We have Repel Missiles. That's really, really good against those guys. Uh, so, yeah, with the Confusion Change, you get a chance now for monsters to attack. But I've still never seen a confused monster shoot a ranged weapon, which is nice. Because that's the main thing I was worried about. I was thinking, okay, so you confuse a centaur and then it still just shoots its bow and it hits you a third of the time anyway. That's super dangerous. Um, Skeletal Warriors. I don't know if we can kill these guys. They're resistant to cold. They have about a million AC. So we're not killing them with magic darts. I don't think... Skeletal Warriors are ever killing them. Maybe Mana Vipers could? I doubt it. Yeah, now the Mana Vipers... Oh, nearly got there. We've got enough Mana for one more. Oh, okay, another one turned up. With a Halberd, so that's way too scary now. Okay, I'm just gonna walk around until we get Mana Viper Mana. <laughs> and then let's give it another go. Oh, I don't want to randomly die. He has 25 damage plus the flail, so we could take a couple more shots. Yeah, it's all good. It's 
pick a new stair again, the third one. It's quite a scary floor, it looks like. Alright, uh, we learnt the ice base do nothing. Okay, uh, well the Mono Vipers are fast, so as I'm just walking away, and the Skeletal Warrior is chasing the Mono Viper, they're getting free attacks on him. I think they're gonna win. It's probably dangerous. All right, there we go. I don't know. That wasn't wise. It was would have been much safer for me to just go back upstairs. But I like to live dangerously. You know how it is. Um, gloves. We've got cursed gloves. I don't know. I don't really want to blow. Oh, teleport trap. <laughs> I don't really want to blow or remove cursed scroll just to find out if those other gloves look better. Alright, so I put a force more on carrying a wand now, and I'm glad that I've done that because so in trunk you now find out that enemies are carrying wands. This guy over here has a wand of acid, uh, which means even if I just use my regular strategy of spamming ice space, he can shoot through them. So I'm gonna tell them to attack and I'm just gonna run. Alright, they got him. Good. We have 26 Wand of Acid charges. We really, really should train more evocations. We've got 26 Acid charges, 5 Clouds, 17 Enslavement, 15 Paralysis. That's pretty nutty. Alright. High skill evocations, mummy. Let's go. Uh, we probably unironically will get 27 evocations in this game if we actually do infinite zigs. That's a troll. I did it again. I was thinking, oh, we might get troll of the armor. Nope, you never will. Just like I'll never remember that fact. That's a manticore. Um, I'm just going to yell to call it to us. Uh, a hand crossbow? Okay. If, if our hunting sling wasn't plus four and it were plain, I'd probably rather walk around with a hand crossbow instead of a hunting sling. Not the case though. Let's not melee the troll. <laughs> I like how my ice beast can 1v1 it. Uh, it might not seem like it, but the kobold demonologist is actually quite scary. So he's got Summon Demon and Summon Minor Demon, but in particular if he makes Sun Demons who do fire damage and are fast, or six furries, they can quite easily kill a character when you meet him in a dungeon like this. So I'm going to try to Mephitic, which we fail. Okay, uh, there's another guy. I'll try to confuse him as well. Alright, we're good. And I'll make a Mono Viper. Alright, if he's confused, that's okay then. He's not going to do demons in that case. Mono Viper's at 8 and it's stopped being yellow miscast chance. So I think 7 seems fine for hexes and summonings. And then we'll assess when summonings is there. I want to do the cold spells like I said at the beginning, but our evocations are so good. Good. That it seems a shame not to be training them. And we should probably also do some more spell casting. Because especially when I spam three ice beasts and then try to do mana vipers, we're running out of mana a lot. Another troll. We have never found an MR item, correct? Correct. Alright, so we're going into Orc next, and I'm a little bit worried that we're going to have a rough time with Orc Sorcerers. Um, before I forget, 
I'm gonna switch our protection from cold ring for the protection from fire ring because orc sorcerers do bolts of fire so when we're in the orcish mines I'd rather have RF than RC and now that we've done D12 I think we will go to orc okay I'm gonna examine so 12% confused just on random orc wizards is still really scary because we can't do anything when we're confused other than just stumble around and if that happens that 12% chance when there's something really scary like an orc warrior around uh, sorry not an orc warrior, an orc warlord uh, we could just randomly die so we're going to have to be extremely careful here that guy has the orc priest is distracted by nearby gold dreaming of imaginary riches debated sorry you're never getting rich because uh, you're about to die it's kind of morbid I don't think I've ever actually paid attention to the Gozag flavor messages before so that's why I got I myself got distracted <laughs> oh man these orc warriors with battle axes and their cleave they're just taking down our ice base oh that hurts I guess we only have 8 AC we're still in robes to be fair so if an ogre max damage rolls like I think that guy just did it does hurt I'm going to set up a macro as well for Summon Mono Viper. Yeah, there we go. Tiny bit more summonings to go. Okay, <laughs> Magic Dot. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, we do kind of, I don't know, it would be really nice to have Bolt of Cold so we actually can kill stuff on our own that's not just magic dot there's summonings to seven I think regardless of what we're doing with evocations I think we should have more spell casting on for more magic points we'll train it up to 15 I'm not going to focus it we'll just train it and I think with this amount of crazy good ones and the fact that we're probably going to want to have lots of evocations ultimately in the game. I think we'll do a little bit more of those. We're not in a huge hurry for Bolt of Cold. It would be nice to have it, but our summons are doing a perfect job of killing stuff anyway. We'll take evocations to 8 and then I'll assess. We might go higher though. Let me just check. Okay, we definitely don't have... Og um, what's his name? Orgreb's Toxic Radiance. That would be really, really nice for Spider, but no, we haven't found it. Yeah, see, I make some Ice Beasts, so I make some Mana Vipers, and we're totally out of magic points. Which is fine if we can manage fights one group at a time, but if we ever get swarmed and I have no magic points, it's a bit of a worry. Uh, this is also quite scary because of the random wizards around. I'm going to tell the mono wipers to go for the wizards. That seems kind of funny. That It's like, eh, don't worry about the orc priests, don't worry about the orc warriors. Kill the, kill the wizards. Are we going to die here? There's nothing too scary. There's a warrior with a battle axe, but he's okay. It's gonna cleave all our friends, not Ice Beast too strong. At least if we get confused on the stairs, it's not the end of the world. Because most of the time you can just walk back up them. And if you're attempting to go up the stairs, you might fumble, but you'll never actually move off the tile. So if there's ever time to get confused, on the stairs is probably it. Everyone go on the wizard though. Um, this guy's mited. This is sort of becoming dangerous here. We've got an orc knight who's going to mite all the other orcs. 
So I think it might be time to go back to that stair. That was safer than this is. We're up to 4,500 gold. We're just going to buy out all the shops in here, I expect. Okay. It's not an issue that the wizard keeps going invis. He's probably dead now. But he was going invis. Because the mana vipers can still see invisible. They're such a strong spell. Um, stone walls suggesting that this might be part of the end vault. I get the feeling actually that this might be one of the layouts where there's a bunch of different smaller rooms and then there's one big one at the end. But I still want to stay away from those. We're going to look for the upstairs first to do the other missing part of Orc 1 that we didn't find yet. Um, and then when we've done that, we might start exploring these stone walled areas. We do have a lot of magic mapping with five, but I don't think I'm that desperate. Now oh, this is a small one, I'm just gonna open it. I was hasty. I should have made some summons before I did that. I mean, who knows who was in there? Maybe Saint Roka could have been there. And then I spend the next few turns making some summons while he smites us over and over. So that wasn't clever. Let's uh, learn from our mistakes. Okay, it's just a, a random orc and a wizard. Looks like we, we don't have much choice. I still don't think it's safe to go back down this stair. And it looks like, I don't know, wherever the other upstairs is, we're going to have to go through this area first. This guy has a die flail of crushing. Not too scary. Such a ridiculous spell. Here's a um, a bookstore, which is probably amazing for us. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I see summon lightning spire. That that one jumped out at me. I was like the book of callings. All right, there's a summon lightning spire. Um, I think I won't learn that, even though I should. It would probably even be free. I expect. Yeah, four percent fail because we've trained air magic and summoning. So that would be the play. You should definitely get that but I don't think we're going to. Um, yeah, just because, I don't know, it's not so fun doing Lightning Spire every game. I like to mix it up. Book of Burglary has one of my recent, recently discovered and soon quick, or quickly becoming one of my favorite spells, Passwall. Uh, also, Passage of Gulubri is really good. And Invis might have some utility in Wait, not Invis. Darkness might have some utility while zigging because it lowers your line of sight. And of course, line of sight is symmetrical in Crawl. So if you lower it for you, it's the same for the monsters. Book of Power gives us the high level conjurations um, and Spellforge Servitor, which is really good. Um, and I like how it has a Battle Sphere in it, which might actually give us a bit of punch with our Magic Dart strat that we've got going on at the moment. Um, I'm going to mark that one, that's a pretty good spell, and I'm going to mark Burglary. Uh, Transfiguration's pretty useless on a mummy. Uh, you can't really transfigure, so most of these you can't use. Clouds, um, we've already got half of these. Although Poisonous Vapors is really, really good in Spider's Nest, although I don't think we need it. Yeah, we probably just don't. Um, some person's catalogue of bewitching talismans. 
Um, okay. Uh, regeneration, a fantastic spell. Does not work on a mummy. You're already dead. Misfortune. Um, confusing touch. Works on all melee weapons now. Super good spell, but again, we don't really need it. And conjurations. It's the magic starting book. Sorry, conjure it's the conjurer starting book. Um, they're all sort of not really what we're in the market for. I think the Book of Power would probably be the best one here. Well, no, Callings would be for Lightning Spire. But beyond that, it would be Power. Because Battle Sphere would be really, really good for us. What have I got on that one? That's Call Imp, which we're not really using. Um, well, we've got 4,800 gold. We're going to pick up more here in Orcish Mines. I think we just buy that. The Book of Power. Um, can I buy it? Yep, there we go. Um, rather than waiting for all our shops, that one's really good because we can learn Battle Sphere. Okay, not straight away. We'll have to train some charms, but that's okay because we also would like to have some charms for deflect missiles. Let's also put Iron Shot, Orbit Destruction, and Servitor all in our memorization list, and we're going to learn Battle Sphere right now. We can't! We only have two spell levels, that's alright, I'm carrying Amnesia. I knew this would come in handy. We do not need Core Imp anymore. We forget it. Yup, so that will give us four, which then... Oh, Battle Sphere is five. Alright, well we need to forget something else then. Um... Oh yeah, we have Sticky Flame, I totally forgot that. Yeah, okay. Um... So we're, that does remind me that we're not in a huge hurry for Bolt of Cold because I can Sticky Flame things for single target damage. I don't think we can... I don't think we want to forget any of these spells. I think because we're training spell casting now, we just wait until we get one more spell level and then we'll learn Battle Sphere. And in the meantime, we're going to focus Charms, which I can't because we don't have any Charms learnt yet. Okay. Well, as soon as we learn it, we'll start focusing charms. Oh yeah, Sticky Flame. Great spell. Okay, when, when it works, that is. Now all we need is a um, an armor shop probably would be the next best thing. If we could get some sort of magical shield, that would be amazing. Can you come to me? I was waiting for him to step to us so I could sticky flame him, and he was just standing one tile away, mocking me while throwing tomahawks. <laughs> this looks like the big room here, so we're gonna avoid that one. We don't want to fight the en enemies yet. Miscast, miscast, miscast. Man, what a spell. Uh, here's a high priest. We'll step back so that he's out of vision, so he's not smiting us and or making more summons. Um, and then we ran out of magic points. Ice Devil got distracted by gold? Interesting. I didn't know... Oh, that's suddenly a lot more enemies back here. Uh, but I didn't know summons would get distracted. I thought it would only work on actual enemies, but there you go. Summons aren't even real. Why are they imagining a future with lots of wealth? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but that was the exact situation that I called out when we came into the orcish mines. So we're gonna X this stair out. So a bunch of wizards around. Okay, one wizard. Maybe there were two, I don't know. And a warlord. So we don't want to risk a 12% confusion chance and then we just get decimated. So we're gonna go to the other stair.
really don't know where this other upstairs is. It's usually not this difficult to find it. Watching the Mana Vipers do their thing. I just go AFK. I'm just hitting the wait button. Hey, there we go. Now watch it just be this little tiny area <laughs> with nothing up there. Okay, it was not. Uh, it's actually quite scary. Here's a sorcerer who's got a 27% uh, percent chance to paralyze us, along with a bunch of wizards and other things. Do we have digging? No. So it's not like I could just walk over here and dig. Although, uh, pass wall exists. We know it's in a shop. We could just go buy pass wall and then just spam it until we pass through the wall. Um, this is really scary. Let me see what my paralysis chance is on the sorcerer. 14. He has a rope of magic resistance. That's not fair. I was like, that seems really low considering that we've been training our vacations. Alright, so that guy was prepared. We can't just paralyze him. Um, and reading a scroll of fear is not likely to work. Because in order for fear to work, you're actually checking the MR of all the enemies. And because of that same robe of magic resistance, he's likely just to shrug that off. Uh, 27 paralysis is rough. He's the closest enemy to us though. If we could just bring him downstairs and kill him, I'd feel a lot safer about this. I'm just going to risk it. Okay, good, he came. We didn't get parried. We didn't get confused either, so we're alright. Um, I want to step back. If we do get paralyzed, I want to be somewhere where the Mana Vipers can actually help. Alright, he goes down. Okay, good. Okay, that's much less dangerous. There's still some wizards around, but it's just also random orcs. Oh, which I just realized that we maybe want this Robe of Magic Resistance. Uh, let me just blink out of this situation. Alright, we're going to investigate, because in order to wear it, we're going to lose 2 AC, and we're also going to lose our 4 intelligence from the Robe of Augmentation, but having extra magic resistance in here means we're less likely to be paralyzed and confused. It's probably worth it in Orcish Mines. We're 8 AC, 16 evasion, that's 24. This is 6 and 15, so it's 21. We're losing out a fair bit, and our spells summon mana viper goes back to 10% and yellow. But we're going to be less likely to get hexed. Problem is, if I do yellow miscast and summon mana viper, that could end up just confusing us anyway. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I think for that reason alone, I think we'll stick with the Robe of Augmentation. But I'm not entirely happy about this. I'm going to keep carrying the MR Robe though. I can very easily see us needing that in the future. Like we meet a unique like Louise or someone. Something like that. Um, okay, no. We're going to wait. I was just toying in my head if I wanted to just go buy a pass wall right now. But we'll wait and see what the rest of the shops have in store for us. <laughs> oh, that's a cool pun. Let's see what the shops have in store.
Here's the warlord. He has a dire flail and a chainmail of cold resistance, so he'll be much stronger against the ice base than he otherwise would be. But uh, oops, I accidentally did another mono viper, so we just threw away six of our MP there. I think we can probably just overwhelm him with summons. If he had an axe and he could cleave them all, this would never work. But because he's got a a flail, he can only hit one at a time. I should not be messing around with these mitered guys. Let's go back up. All oh, right, we're waiting on magic points. We have five spell levels. Okay, there's the battle sphere. It goes to I. I'm gonna make a macro for that, which is ZI. So okay, so if you don't know how battle sphere works, uh, it gives you this summon here. Oh, it's wait, wait, wait. We can't do it yet. It's still very dangerous. That's right. We're gonna have to train some charms first. Let's do maybe five points. Uh, and the bonus of that is then that might make deflecting missiles castable. Okay, so I'll have to demonstrate it in a little bit. But that's a really good spell. This is cold resistance, rope. We don't need any of those. A potion shop. Excellent. Potion shop. Exactly what you want when you're a mummy. Feels bad, man. <laughs> potion seller? Give me your strongest potions. <laughs> but adventurer, you literally can't even quaff them. Oh yeah, my bad. Ah, uh, the mummy life. Let's um ignore this big one though. We'll come do that as a finisher. We'll do the rest of the floor first. I'm just gonna exclude that area. We'll exclude that door. Okay, that basically was the rest of the floor. It's very often that this little envoy is full of sorcerers. And because we're not wearing the magic resistance robe, we need to be very careful about this. So we're going to take it really slow. We're going to spam summons and just try to draw enemies out one at a time. Or a couple at a time at least. There's our first one. Um, I want to get out of vision of him so he's not spamming summons and we will spam summons. As soon as Mana Vipers get on top of him, like he's pretty much done because they're going to anti-magic him. Oh, we've got the six furry. Um, Alright, this is too scary. Or is it? No, it is because the six furry is still just running us down. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Just get back upstairs and not randomly die to his Aralek or his Alek attacks because we don't have Aralek. We don't have any way of getting it either, right? Yep. Oh, right. Yeah, we have one Curare Needle. I'm really bad at remembering this stuff. Svenkinson has probably been pulling his hair out, but that one Curare Needle would have been really good against the Orc Warlord that we met earlier to slow him down. I'm going to X this door out again, and I'm going to go Shift X Control F. I'm going to see if we can find where that sorcerer is. Okay, he must have gone back in. Because if he's running around, I don't want to be running away from a... Basically, imagine the same situation we just had from a 6 furry, and then we meet the other orc sorcerer behind us, and then we get paralyzed. Uh, here's another warlord. Okay. So, let's uh, remember... Well, we don't need to remember if the summons are already all on top of him. Because we're probably just not going to get a clean shot. Alright, well here we go. Well, it doesn't matter, he's about to die. Okay, we won't risk mulching our blowgun. Oh, wait, not mulching our blowgun. Why do I say these things? Mulching our curare needle. Imagine if you could mulch your blowgun. Be like barony. Just, your weapon breaks. Oh. Shame I put all 
All nine of my enchant weapon scrolls into that demon blade we just found. Welp. We got the armor shop and a weapon shop. That's okay. Um, well, absolutely nothing exciting in the weapon shop. Um, why couldn't we have Wormbane? <laughs> and the armor shop. So we've got an artifact robe, which is worth just testing for 136 gold, and a glowing scarf, which is also worth testing. So we'll buy both of those. The scarf we can put on. Uh, cloud immunity. Um, what have we got? Swamp? Well, the clouds in Swamp are either Poison Clouds, or Mephitic Clouds, or Ghost Crabs have the negative energy clouds, all of which we're immune to, so we don't really care about that one. Uh, so we're going to keep going with Scarf of Repulsion, and we're going to identify this robe. Plus two robe of our poison, dex plus two. No, thank you. Robe of original sin. You were poisoned from the beginning. Here, take some our poison. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, the other shop's not too exciting. Have we found a regular shield anywhere? No, only bucklers or large shield. So we're stuck with the buckler for the moment, I think. Um, and I guess we should buy some more books because this wasn't too exciting. Or should we start some of our own shops? Um, yeah, how about we call some of our own merchants? We've got 5,000 gold. It's still a little while off before we, we're going to be wanting to bribe branches. Um, partially because we literally can't bribe our either of our lair rune branches. Swamp and Spider both have unintelligent monsters. So the game doesn't even let you do it. So when when might we be bribing something? Not until probably vaults. And even then, you don't normally bribe vaults 1 to 4. You normally do vaults 5. So yeah, we've got so many potion petitions worth of gold right now. We still have our free one. So we haven't even used one at all. So I think we do just find a merchant or two and just see what we get. And then maybe we'll just buy a bunch of books if we get nothing good. So core merchant. We got another bookstore, a weapon emporium, or a general store. Um, with the books that we've already found, I think there's no hurry for book boutique. Um, so I mean, sure, by the time we're zigging, we want to be having a book of annihilations, but we're going to be doing all of the extended game beforehand, so there's really no rush for more books. So I think I'll just go general store. We're not really... Um, in a rush for weapons either. So I don't know, general store could have anything. We'll hedge our bets a bit. And we found the Amulet of the Four Winds. So I immediately thank Gozag for this store. What's our current amulet? Just an amulet of faith that is just worthless bling. So let's ditch that one. Uh, the Amulet of the Four Winds is an absolute godsend for a mummy. Um, note that it has clarity. So you become immune to all of the nonsense mummy confusion things, such as tarantellas. So we just basically made the spider's nest about, I don't know, one-fifth as difficult as it was going to be. Because now they cut, they literally can't confuse us. And having three pips of MR is amazing. We're not going to get banished if we meet Luis or anything like that. So let's insta-slam that one. Um, the plus three leather armor is interesting. It's a Slay plus 5, but I don't know. That's not really that exciting. We're not really using Slay anytime soon. And Scrolls of Teleportation, we've got 9, so I won't buy that one. But I can mark it to remember in the future. Let's put on the 4 wins. That's amazing. Let's chop the plus 2 robe of magic resistance. And let's check out MR. We've got 4 pips of MR. That's amazing. So our MR situation is basically sold for the game. <laughs> Nice, thank you Gozak. Excellent job. And do we buy more merchants now? Um, that one went so well that I want to say yes. 
Because maybe we can get some sick artifact rings or something. If we got a jewelry shop. Um, yeah, let's go again. So we've got assorted antiques, a gadget emporium, which means it will be focused around ev evocable things, and an armor boutique. So it's a general store again. Um, evocations, I feel like we sort of have covered. I mean, it's always nice to be able to buy things like box of beasts or more sacks of spiders, but I think for the current state of our character, we want to go armor. And I think we have been rewarded. So Pearl Dragon Scales is an amazing armor. Uh, it has the same base armor rating as, uh, what's I'm going to call it? What is that thing called? As plate armor, but it's a lot lighter, so it still lets you cast spells. Um, so we're going to mark that. I don't know that we'd do it yet, because um, our strength will drop back down to 11, and we don't have any armor skill yet, so it's going to be a bit unimpressive. But in the future, that's a really, really good armor to have. Uh, I also like the plus one helmet of intelligence, which we're immediately going to buy. And that's probably it out of the rest of this stuff. Yeah, the others aren't so exciting. Uh, we just solved that MR problem, so we don't really need the rogue of satisfaction. And you might be sort of eyeing the plus one buckler of cold resistance. Ah, uh, I mean for 264 gold, that's not much. We could have a point of RC as well. Uh, what's our current buckler? It's plain, so this also would be giving us a little bit of extra shield. You know what, 264 gold for a Gozad character is really nothing, so I'm just going to buy it. Alright, uh, we're putting on the plus one helmet of Int. That gives us extra AC, and I think I'm going to enchant armor that as well, because that's a really nice item for us to have. Uh, extra Int helps us with casting, and I really like this helmet tile. It's one of my favorites, it's like a medieval knight where we've got the the red plume coming out of the top looks baller and I think that's it for shops unless we want to buy more spells um, we don't have any of the spell levels to be able to even learn password right now so maybe we'll find the book of burglary in the dungeon in the next couple of floors and then I'll we'll have wasted our 750 gold. So we'll we'll wait on that one, but we'll almost certainly be back fairly soon for the Book of Burglary, which means we're going to finish the rest of the dungeon now. So that went really well. Oh, here's Erica. Great. We found her right as we got a million um, a million pips of MR. So she literally has a zero percent chance to confuse us. Uh, in that case, she's really easy, and if she, even if she goes invis now, which she immediately did, our mana vipers do not care. They just kill her anyway, and we get her enslavement. We've got yeah, only four charges of that, so she shot a bunch of them just there, trying to enslave our mana vipers who have pretty high MR, as it turns out. Um, I wonder if we. Probably should have picked up her scimitar of flaming. That's not how you do it. Um, I never remember how you do this glowing. Maybe just magic? No, that's giving me anti magic. Uh, Oh, branded. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. So I'm doing a search with controller for weapon, ampersand, ampersand, and now branded. So I can see all of the branded weapons that are in the whole game. Um, a vampiric scimitar would be pretty good to have in a pinch. Um, vampiric weapons, pretty cool on a mummy because you have no hunger costs. So you don't have to be full to wield it because there's no such thing. So you can just wield and unwield it as you see fit. That's probably the best melee weapon that we've seen. 
uh, because I'm thinking of situations where, say we're fighting an Emperor Scorpion or something like that, and it's uh, resistant to poison. Our Spear of Venom is pretty useless. So I'll go grab the Vampiric Scimitar. It's also nice having um, long swords with no long swords training because you get max value out of Repost. Okay, D13. We've got three more floors of the dungeon left. And we do not care about Orc Wizards anymore. What I'm on the lookout here for here is the entrance vault to the vaults because quite often um, the vault guards have regular shields. So we might be able to upgrade from this buckler that I just bought. Uh, but we might be able to okay, eventually upgrade from the buckler to a regular shield. That's a deep elf mage. I should be afraid of those guys until we get a mana viper on top of them. Once they start getting the anti-magic, um, spellcasters are much less scary. This is where I wish I had Blinding Spire, because if I just start walking back to get around the corner, we're probably going to eat a lot of arrows. Um, the best play is probably summon butterflies. Yeah, that's perfect. Spam a million butterflies, they can't shoot through them reliably, uh, and then we can step around the corner and make summons. There you go. I finally remembered to use the spell, and it turns out it's really good. Uh, there's another one. This time we could just easily step around the corner. There we go. Help me, Mana Vipers. That guy's got a club. <laughs> Let's check Battlesphere. It's 26% and it's still red. Alright, so that's a little bit. It's going to be a little while coming. Uh, that might be the Vault's Entrance Vault there. Um, because it might be, and because it might not be, it might be something else scary. I'm going to exclude that and we'll do that last. <laughs> I don't know why that looks so funny, but it's just a an orc with a, a large shield. He's ready for battle. Well, he tried. It didn't last too long. Um, our current large shield is one that I like, but I also like this one. I don't know, they're both pretty good large shield tiles. Mm. This blue one goes better with our current armor, I think. Our current robe is blue and white. Um, so I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we're definitely not using the large shield for a while, so I'm getting a bit ahead of myself to be doing fashion choices for the large shield. But if there's one that I'm going to carry around, I'd rather be carrying the better looking one. It's like an accessory, you know? It's like... You want to have a good looking handbag when you're you're out on the town. And when you're as rich as this character is, you can afford the best in fashion. Centaur warrior floor. Good thing we still have repel missiles. Um, really good thing. Let's mephitic them all. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the mono vipers are also resistant to poison, so they don't care about mephitic either. Um, great synergy with both the ice beast and the mono vipers that we can mephitic them and ourselves. That's a Tengu with ranged weapons. A bit scary. Uh, I say scary because they're fast, so they can run you down. 
especially if they have some sort of brand or weapon, can be quite scary. Battle sphere check, 22 still red. Where are all these centaur packs coming from? That's an eight headed hydra. Alright, we're not bothered now. We can just overwhelm him with summons. I mean, hydras are pretty good against summons because they can redirect their attacks for their heads, but still. When I send five summons at once, it's gonna die pretty quickly. Ooh, that's an interesting item. Uh, a crystal of energy. So, <laughs> alright, let's talk about this one a little bit. Or maybe we shouldn't because the episode's about to end and it's kind of an interesting point um, to explain to, to all the viewers, the casual viewers who just watched the first 10 minutes. Uh, but it's, we're going to carry that around. It's very possible that uh, we might use that even quite soon. Uh, yep, yeah, this is definitely our vault's entrance vault. Uh, so we'll clear this one and then probably call it an episode. So this particular one usually has a lot of wizards in it, um, which is really dangerous because you might get banished. But because of our huge amount of MR at the moment, uh, we are not worried. This guy has a staff of fire. All right, we've already got one of those bad boys. Yep, see there's a wizard. If it had paralysis or confusion, they can have confusion, right? No. So just paralysis or banishment. Both of those are really scary when you're finding the vault's entrance vault, but not for us. Mm, summons are just getting overwhelmed. The other thing about waiting before talking about the crystal ball of energy is that uh, I now get a chance to look it up in the learn DB to actually tell you the numbers and then I can pretend like I knew all along. But I, I honestly didn't. It's not an item I use often. Because there, there are certain breakpoints. Anyway, we'll go over it next episode. Um, I should respect him because if he has haste, he also has crystal spear. Um, and if we got crystal spear twice, we'd die. Um, which he could do because he's hasted. If he does it once, we we happen to have the silence spell, so we could silence him. Um, although maybe actually, I probably should have done it preemptively. We already had our mana vipers down; they would have killed him. Oh well, live and learn. It's, I guess, a bit scary to use if we don't have to because it's still a yellow miscast chance. Maybe we should do a little bit of air training. I think we will once we get Battle Sphere castable. I'm going to ID this amulet because it's cursed inaccuracy. We want to have all of the different types of amulets identified for when we're Oh, party tricks. Uh, for when we're, what's I'm gonna call it, acquiring stuff. I was like, is this, is this the book of burglary? Did I actually call it? No, I didn't. Well, this is good because we can learn habitation. Um, I don't know that we'll learn it right now, but it's gonna be really useful in the extended game and when we're zigging and the like. Um, I put it in our list of spells that we can learn. Let's get rid of call imp. Um, I'm going to say that we're not going to do Refrigeration. I'd rather do Freezing Cloud instead. I'm also going to say we're not going to do Summon Hydro. All of these other spells we might. Alright, so that's going to be it for now. So if you join me in the next episode, we'll finish off the dungeon, and then we'll go in search of our Lair Runes. Bye.